All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. And um, most importantly, give it up for my gym stars, man. Hey, Brood ain't the only one that can do that. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Trying to get this audio and all this stuff right, man. I don't want to be clipping, so I'm trying to make sure that I'm, I'm in the right areas and all this stuff man if my mic sounds funny today just let me know or whatever i will I'm, I'm gonna go over the video before i put it up obviously but y'all understand what i'm saying man new equipment a lot of stuff going on new hair bro let me tell y'all one thing man where my hair is right now bro it's laughable man look at this right here it's like i want it like it's good it's good or whatever but Right now, y'all see it like I need to get it retwisted in the top and stuff like that. Actually, it's not that bad now that I'm actually looking at it. Y'all know how it is when you when you get your hair twisted and you start the lock process. It feels and let me know if 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 if, if I'm being um if I'm hitting this on the head with y'all. It feels worse than it looks. Like it just feels like you just need like you just want the only thing you want to do is just wash your hair. I just want to wash my hair and wash it every day. I come y'all come from somebody that used to washing their hair every day. To now I can only do it sparingly because you know you're waiting for the lock process to go through and all that good stuff. I mean, it looks fine, looks good, everything is cool, but it just feels worse than it looks, man. And like I can't wait. Like you already you you want it to be to the point where you can go ahead and pull it back and stuff like that. Obviously, I'm not to that point. I don't need to rush to that point. I ain't gotta get to that point, but it just feels like you know what I'm saying, it just feels worse. Than, uh, than what it is, man. Everybody that's looking at it says it's cool. Everybody said they like it and all that good stuff. Bridget likes it. Uh, LJ loves it. He wants. He likes. He wants to get his hair just like mine, so he's getting that done. Um, well, he already had it like that. But she, she has his hair is more coarse than mine, and y'all know how kids they don't care about nothing. So she has to retwist his like every couple of weeks. I think I'm almost a month in with mine now. Next week will be a month, so that's probably when I'm going to get her to retwist it if I can make it that long. This first time. Uh, we had like three weeks or whatever, man. So, you know, it is what it is, man. It sucks. Um, it sucks to go through the process. But, you know, we're going to get that, man. Shirts. I'm, I've ordered all the shirts. Like I said, man, look. Um, we have delays now. Y'all know everything is disappearing because of what's going on. A lot of things disappearing. A lot of stuff just, just ain't in stock. So, I have to order. I have to order the stuff. So, I am going to try my best to get everything out between today and tomorrow. So if you have one, just look for your shipping. Y'all should start seeing, you know, everything get shipped uh, coming up today or tomorrow, man. And that, that deserves, you know, give it up for your boy on that, man. It's tough, man, because I do everything myself, but I also have to run this IT company that I work for and all that stuff, man. And it's like, well, not run it, but you know, I'm like the head tech. So it's like I have to go places and some, some days it's cool. I got the shirt on backwards. Nah, it just feels, bro. Why I feel like extra up around my neck? Um, a lot of days I'm cool where I'm working, but sometimes they send me all over the city. And when they send me all over the city, I get back and I'm just dead. Like, and then and, and I had two weeks back to back where all they did was send me out. And then it's hard to get, like, I, I couldn't even really get YouTube videos done. So it's like, get YouTube videos done, try to do a stream, get all the shirts done and all this stuff. Plus I had to get a whole new computer, man. I bought the Elgato HD6. Y'all ever buy something and when you buy something, it just like, it's like you go down a rabbit hole of having to buy new stuff. So I bought a new mic for my thing, uh, for my, for my computer. And then I was like, you know what? This mic is cool, but the mixer that the mic is going through is trash. So I had to get a new mixer. And then I had to get splitters for all of my stuff. And then I bought the Elgato HD60 um, because my old my old capture card started acting up and was making my computer blue screen. So I had to buy the Elgato HD60. But I couldn't buy the HD60S, I had to buy the HD60 4K. So then I bought the 4K and then that requires you to have to have the Elgato utility open on your computer. And my old computer couldn't handle it. So I had to buy a whole new computer. Tried to get the people from the stream to help your boy out. It didn't happen. And then you know, like you just be back up against the wall and all that stuff and you just can't do it. Long story short, man, I end up having to pay a whole lot of money that I ain't wanna do to invest into this thing. But hey, you know it is what it is. I'm committed, man. You know, we gonna keep on doing it. We gonna keep on grinding. And uh, you know, one day we gonna get there, man. But anyway, speaking of keeping on grinding, speaking of keeping on doing things like that, man, I don't know what screen it's gonna bring up. I hope it brings up the right one. Yes, it brought up the right screen. Your boy Nadex, man. They banned my boy again, man. Your boy again, whatever. 
Uh, let's listen to what he got to say here, real quick, man. Uh, let's 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 just let me let me pause the music. We don't want to hear nobody cousin uh, mixtape real quick. Let's see what Nadex had to say, man. Yes, sir. Listen, Twitch banned my ass again, right? Obviously, I've been banned on Twitch since fucking 2016. You name, no face. I guess you know how dudes is in the community. They report you. They hate you. They they do all types of shit. You know how the community is. They're weirdos. But listen, I'm no longer streaming on Twitch ever, like ever. My face cam streams will be back. Obviously, I'm gonna be streaming on D Live. All right. I'm gonna be streaming on this new platform called Trovo. All right. Okay. Download the Trovo app, and my username is Cuban. All right, but yeah, more news to come. But face cam streams are back. All right, so that's where we at with the whole Nadex thing, man. He says that he got banned on Twitch again. Now Nadex been banned since like 2015, 2016, man, and uh, he came back in several different iterations. I am not here to judge whether or not his bans was justified or what have you. I just know that Twitch and YouTube have a policy where if you're a per and, and they don't tweet everybody, let's let's be let's keep it honest. Twitch and YouTube don't treat everybody the same. Depending on the disparity, you know, it's a disparity there, but depend on how bad what you did was, they won't even let you create another channel. That's why when some people get the two strikes, they kill their YouTube channel and then they then they bring it back in another iteration. Because what happens is if you are banned off YouTube, they say you can't even make another account ever. Now, a lot of people, when they do that, or, you know, YouTube or Twitch, a lot of people get banned off of YouTube or Twitch. They're nameless, faceless people. They don't have a big following. They don't have anything going for them. If I got banned off of Twitch, I could probably make a new one tomorrow and nobody would ever really notice. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm not, I'm not anybody on Twitch. I'm not anybody on YouTube. I could probably do the same thing for YouTube. But... When you have a huge following, you got a lot of fans and stuff, it's harder for you to come back after you got banned. Now, was his ban justified? I don't know. But we do what what we do know is a lot of Nadex's community is toxic. Not him himself is toxic. I'm not here to judge the person, but his community that the people that come along with him. A lot of them guys toxic, man. If you're a Nadex fan, I'm not saying that you're toxic, but you know that you're within a lot of people that are just there to troll and be toxic and do some of the stuff. A lot of people say he bring it on himself. Not here to judge that. The only thing I can tell you is I was there through all of it. I saw it all happen. I'm not telling you what somebody told me. I'm telling you what I saw live. The first thing that he got banned for it was free. Like, I'm not saying that Lanex is toxic, but he does play right on. If this is the envelope and this is the edge of the envelope, this is where he plays right here. So he's right on the edge all the time. So it's like, yeah, maybe, maybe he didn't deserve to get banned or maybe that's not a bannable offense or maybe people have done things that are worse. But it's just like one of those things where if you told a line, you don't know which side you're going to come down on. So like I said, I'm not here to judge whether or not it was a justifiable ban or anything like that. All I can really tell you is when Twitch bans somebody, they don't typically let you come back unless you wanted a big bread winners or something like that. You wanted the big bread winners, they'll listen to you and see what you're going. But if you're trolling Twitch and stuff like that, like I heard stories about it was almost like he was daring Twitch to ban him and stuff like that. And he just said a lot of disrespectful things. I don't know how true it is. I'm just letting you know what I've heard you know, or whatever. And I heard this from, you know, people that he used to play with or whatever. I mean, Annoying went into it on stream about all this stuff. And he said that, um, he pretty much said that, that Twitch told, anno Twitch told Annoying that you can't even play with Nadex no more. Because if you play with him and we see his username on the screen, then that's bannable. Like, damn, like, damn, homie, they want you bad. So when they want you that bad, or if you did something to garner that, it's like, like what can you really expect? Anytime you come back, they catch wind of it, you know, you're going to be gone again. And I don't know if they're checking you by your IP. I don't know if they're checking it by your MAC address on your PC. I don't know how they're finding you. But 
that's what they're gonna do. So if any, if everything that I heard was true, combined with what I saw, you know why they banned you, you know why they keep banning you, and they typically just don't allow you back once they ban you. That's just that's just how it is um, with Twitch. And like you said, like I I just don't see like like let's let's look at it from a different perspective. Come back with no face cam, and and he can come back with no face cam, no mic. If somebody says it's him and they can prove it's him, they're gonna ban it because that's just how it is. But I don't understand, like who in the hell would 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 sit there and tell on you like that? Like how how would they find out unless they unless you know? I guess the people ain't stupid, man. I, I, I mean, maybe somebody on Twitch that's in Twitch ad man follows you on social media for the express person. I mean for the express reason of keeping you off of twitch maybe they follow your social media and all that stuff man that's the only thing i can really think of because i'm like like how would they find you that quick i don't think anybody you think anybody what do y'all think man y'all think somebody reported him y'all think somebody's just being a sucker in the community and all that stuff because to me to me honestly i don't care like you could i feel like i don't feel like like okay if even if what you did was justifiably justifiable to for you to get banned to take away somebody's ability to make money over some trolley stuff i just don't see it like you got six nine you got all the people that, that do all this stuff now for trolling but i guess they didn't go with the actual entity i don't know man i just feel like you know i feel bad because it's like like some of it you do bring on yourself because of the type of community that you breed but at the same time it's like nobody deserves to not be able to make any money at all over some trolley stuff like if you do something bad you you do if you really hurt somebody in real life or something like that yes you deserve to be able to take you you just you deserve to have your living ability to make a living taken away from you that's why you go to jail but over some trolley stuff i mean i don't, I don't think so and then so he got banned off youtube there's a way around the youtube thing you just have to get somebody else to own the channel and then you upload to it and stuff like that that's how that's how keemstar always comes back but i just feel like you know like for the things like I, I don't know man stuff that i feel like is minute they may feel like it's major i just don't get it man but y'all let me know do y'all think that his ban is justifiable y'all think he deserves to never be able to come back or do you think the twitch and youtube are overreacting like i said if everything is true it may not be justified but i understand why they won't allow him to come back i understand that if you keep daring somebody to do something y'all ain't gonna do nothing y'all ain't gonna do nothing and then they do it then you know it's like your parents you, you dare your parent to whip you and then when they spank that ass then it's like yeah and then you or, or just like when you do somebody in real life like i knew one of my homeboys in real life bro dude he got into a fight with dude one time and dude cut him from from right here to right here with the razor you know that's when tupac and all the you know above the rim and all that when uh you put, put spit the razor out and you know cut he cut him from right here to right here with a razor every time Every time they saw each other, it was on. Damn it, I said it was on. From that point on, every single time they saw each other, they saw each other in school fighting. They saw each other in the street, they was fighting. They saw each other at, at church, it was a fight. Like from then on, every single time. So I get it, that was the definition of on site. And maybe that's what it is with Twitch. Twitch say it's on site with Nadex right now. And uh, YouTube saying the same thing. I feel bad though because I feel like I don't know if he's changed or not, but the situation the situation has changed, and thus he's changed as well. So maybe he's finally sees the light and sees the perspective. But it could be too much, too little, too late, man. And it sucks that you got to start over on a whole new thing. But it's just like, damn, you know, when you I don't know. I guess it's when my mom used to tell me like the things that you do in your youth are gonna follow you when you get older. And then you be like, damn, mama, y'all don't know what you're talking about. Do you forget that your parents were young at one time too? And you don't want to listen to them then, but now you're like, damn, I wish I'd listened to you now because I blew up, I blew a whole bunch of lot of opportunities. Um when I was in college, you know, you got yourself in the head like, come on, man. I know I ain't the only person that went to college and had and filled out um filled out the credit card thing for free t-shirts and had 20 free t-shirts because we were broke in college and then had 30 credit cards that i ended up having to pay off before i was 30 to get my credit back right i know i ain't the only person that did that now damn if you went to college in 1999 like i did then you already know what time it is man but like i said the, the things that you do in your youth they they gonna follow you when you're an adult 
for at least for a little while. You can get this stuff behind you and all that, and I hope that's what he does, man. But I just hate it for the, for the dude, man, because if he has really changed and he really sees the light this time, he'll get another opportunity. It's just not going to be immediately. Because like I always say, people like people be like, you know, strangers will support you before your family does. Well, your family's seen all the bullshit you done done. Your family's seen all the times that they loaned you money and you didn't give it back. Your family's seen all the hair, the, the brain, the super hair-brained opportunities or the get-rich-quick schemes that you didn't try to do, and none of them worked because you didn't see the stuff through. So it's like that right there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, your family has seen everything or, or you know, and, and strangers haven't. So that's why strangers will support you before your family will. But when you show people that you deserve to be supported and that you've really changed, you know, they, they probably will do it. So you go out there, you grind on DLive, grind on these other platforms and do your thing, man. I'm pretty sure that they'll come back and, uh, you know, you know they'll let you back on them, man. But you got to do, you got to put in legwork. You can't just come and say, I've changed. You know, I'm a recovering, I'm a recovering whatever, you know, recovering sex addict or alcoholic or whatever. And you think somebody going to give you a CEO job. You got to work your way back up. So if you're really serious about it, go in there, grind it out. You're going to be just fine. Your, your fan base supports you anyway. You're going to get the money. And then like in, in two or three years, you're going to be like, see, I told you, man, if you're really serious about it. If you're not, it'll show. It is what it is, man. I got to get up out of here, man. This was really just a, just me talking about something to see how this mic works and see how that how all that goes, man. Hopefully, Nate X can get back from it. Y'all let me know that y'all feel like he's getting what he deserves or what have you to some degree, possibly. I don't think he deserved it to this degree, man, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's not my decision to make. It's the people that you wronged decision to make. You do anything you want, but you don't get to choose how they respond. And that's something that you gotta, let's give it up for that right there, man. That's something that you gotta realize, man. You can do anything you want in this world, but you don't get to choose how the people respond to it. So when you wanna start doing that, now you wanna play judge, jury, execution, it's not fair. Anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. Nate X banned again, but hey, hopefully he'll get up out of it. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak! Oh yeah, if y'all wanna know how much the whole new setup costs, man. Uh, you know, I mean if y'all if y'all wanna go to my Twitch channel and and donate, that'll be awesome. Man, this joint, boy, this whole new setup costs. Whew! Whew! Probably about twenty five hundred all together, man. Not even gonna count. Whew! But alright though, I gotta get up out of here. I'm gonna holler at y'all. Peace. If y'all wanna see a setup video, let me know, man. Thumbs up. I'm out.